centipede workbench system. Is this a hilarious waste of money or is this the best system out there? We're gonna talk about it, let's get into it. I like this system, it's a great value for me. How do we measure the value of a workbench? It needs to be tough. It needs to be strong, mm -hmm. it needs to be modular. Um, <laughs> value, yes, value. <laughs> I should have just stopped. Let's start, start over. Let's do it again. Yes, sir. All right, so I got my kiddos here, and we're actually going to talk about why we like the centipede work table. How much weight can it support? It's a ton and a half. That's what's in the script. I can't see it. Oh, gosh. What's happening? One eternity later. All right, guys. So let's talk a little more about this uh, work surface, the Boris centipede. Um, I love this thing. Uh, the kids like it. They've used it a bunch. You know, they're familiar with it, uh, but it has some pretty serious strengths over other types. It's very modular. So you can take these panels out and you can use a different um, leg assembly or, or stand, I guess they call it. What you see here is a four by six. So even if I have a machine in here, um, I can get a two by four um, workbench assembly table, anything like that. I can set it aside in front of the machine, on the side of the machine, it's perfect. It's also nice to have something that you can throw out in the middle of the floor and walk around. I think that's really valuable. Um, with the included accessories, let's take a look at some of these here. These are risers and you put them on the tops of the, each of these little um, feet here. This whole table can go up on top of this uh, and it brings the height up. So I chose to get the 30 inch and then these are the six inch riser to make it 36 inches high. Um, the other accessories, which I do like, uh, are these two by four brackets here. So these are pretty handy. You can put these on the bench as well. They'll hold a two by four. Uh, you can get rid of the top. So you can have the two by four on here. And when you're cutting it, you're only cutting into the two by four. Uh, it, you know, you're cutting into what it's supporting and the two by four as well you know, so you're not cutting into your tabletop or the structure of your table. So these are really cool as well. Now, one of the things I didn't think I would like very much that I actually really like are these um, little, uh, little um, clamps, basically. So they go in the, the dog hole things here um, and they use friction to hold them tight. And uh, well, they gotta have something in there to, to push it aside to create the friction. A lot of things I put on here, frankly, like tractor implements and, and attachments, they weigh so much they just don't move. <laughs> so these aren't usually needed for stuff like that, but for lighter things, I do like these as well. It takes up very little space. I mean, when we, we're gonna collapse this at the end of the video, uh, and you'll see how much space it doesn't take up. It's phenomenal. Um, so we're gonna move on here to value. Now, uh, <laughs> This is kind of expensive. So this setup you see before you here, this was around $450. This is kind of in a class on its own. Uh, a couple hundred dollars for those benches. It's literally twice the bench and I can pack it up and make it smaller. I like that feature a lot. That's the, the biggest thing because my shop is small. So every inch matters in here. Uh, this brings me to some cons when it comes to breaking this down. One of the problems I've had with the workbench uh, is the top. So we're gonna start at the top. <laughs> Get it. The actual top. It, it water stains terribly. There is no trade that you would bring this to where it couldn't get wet or wouldn't risk getting wet. The other thing is the weight of the panels. They're pretty darn heavy uh, and there's no relief or anything cut in like the handles. So when we pick these up, uh, you actually can easily pinch your hand here. So these guys, <laughs> these are a pain to remove. So what this does, let me get a little closer here. What these do is they actually lock into the provided metal uh, inserts here in the table and that secures the table down. They're a pain to get in and out. And the other big issue with these is that um, there aren't enough spots for them. So they simply go in the bottom like so. Oop. They go in the bottom like so, and then you twist them, and that's how they lock in. So uh, pretty simple design, but it is hard to get to. And if the table's not perfectly square, you have to really wiggle this around to get these to line up. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. 
Um, but in respect to the table usage, there are not enough of these. So what ends up happening is you can do your outside uh, cam locks, but you can't do the inside one because this inside one is needed <laughs> for the next section. So I have to choose between hooking to this one or to this one. And so I usually do the outside. Oh my goodness. See what I'm talking about? Pain in the butt. Or you can rotate the head here and you can do it on this side. So that's how I do it. So yeah, what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna start breaking this down and I'll show you how relatively easy it is to store. So let's pick these up. Lots of stuff. Whenever I lift these up, I pinch my finger, something fierce. So yeah, just picked one of these up. Now we gotta find a place to put it. I think I'm just gonna stack them over here for now. When I disassemble this, I like to do the ends first. When I assemble it, I like to do the middle first. It's a lot harder to get to the middle to put the cam locks in if you have the ends on first. And I think it's easier to line everything up so it stays, you know, plumb and square if you do the middle first. So let's go ahead and disconnect the middle one. That's pretty easy. <laughs> and the workspace is back and I can now pull my tractor or any vehicle in here for whatever I need to do. All right guys, so that's a wrap. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.